Yes. Today marks a turning point in our state's history. Today we retire our former flag and begin the process of adopting a new flag. The great men and women of the Department of Archives and History will move forward with finding a place for this flag that recognizes its significance in our state's history. You're looking at history being made, the 126-year-old Mississippi State flag that bears the Confederate battle emblem being retired by Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman and Speaker of the House Philip Gunn. This follows recent protests across the nation over racial injustice. The Mississippi Legislature voted on a bill Sunday to retire the flag. The governor signed that bill into law yesterday. Mississippi was the only remaining state in the country flying a state flag with the Confederate battle emblem. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons was there to witness the lowering of the state flag. He joins us live from the two Mississippi museums, the new home for the 126 year old flag. Scott. A big event to say the least as the Mississippi state flag is retired. An event that ended here at the state history museums, but actually started at the state capitol. And it was a solemn a ceremony as the flags for both the House and Senate were lowered along with that larger one that flew over the Capitol grounds. Those flags presented to the House Speaker, the Lieutenant Governor and the Director of the State Museums. They were escorted to the museums and presented to Reuben Anderson, former State Supreme Court Justice and Chairman of the Museum Boards. Plenty of thoughts about the historic importance of this moment. Well, this historical event is but a second in the history of our state. In this second, we chart a future, our collective future, for centuries to come. May God bless Mississippi. Three flags now in the hands of the museums here no longer to be displayed as the state flags of Mississippi. Now begins the work of finding its replacement. We expect the members of the nine member flag commission to be named soon. They get to work. They have a September deadline to come up with that one flag option. And then in November, voters will decide if they want that flag or they want to send that commission back to the drawing board. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. The president of the Department of Archives and History and the director of the two Mississippi museums also spoke during the historic retiring ceremony. Here's what they had to say. After 125 years, this is, a, is really an immense accomplishment that can be attributed to those two great men. What they went through to get this done is remarkable. And as I look around, I think of the legislature and the struggle that they went to to get this done, particularly the Black Caucus. To be able to really talk about this, I'm thinking about people like my ancestors, Fannie Lou Hamer, Mega Evers, the Charleston Nine, and all the names. But it's the history that I am so excited. The complex stories that we'll be telling in the two Mississippi museums where the flag belongs. When you think about the Civil War, you think about Robert E. Lee who said we need to retire this flag because it's going to show divisiveness. So 126 years later, we're still talking about the same thing. So this is an amazing time for the state of Mississippi. The flags will be moved into the collections area of the museums before being displayed. <laughs>